After another year of the same daunting course from Sturbridge, Mass, all the way to the tip of the Cape, riders of the Pan Mash Challenge say they aren't losing speed or passion. No, I love it. Every year it's just, it's so exciting. It's probably one of the best weekends of the year. You know, you're riding along streets and there's just people lined up and they're handing out water and they're cheering for you. And um, it's, it's really, it's really amazing. It's a great feeling. You don't even know you're riding, you know, it just, it, the inspiration's there and makes the pain go away. The bike race raises money to the Dana-Farber Cancer Institute through the Jimmy Fund, something that unfortunately many people can relate to, including a group of friends from Palmer. Mike, John, and I started this team in 2006. Uh, my dad had just passed away from cancer, and John is a cancer survivor. So, you know, the three of us were like, do you, do you think we can do this? And, you know, it's nine years later, and we're doing this. Um, and it's a, it's a big ride, it's a big commitment, but uh, somehow every year we pull it off. This is my sixth year. I'm one of the median guys. We have a six-man team. So uh, it's a lot of early mornings. It's a lot of 5.30 a.m.s blasting out of the driveway and chasing him around the block. Um, everybody kind of has their own training regime. Uh, we all do it for different reasons. Um, we're all, we've all been affected in different ways by cancer. You know, I ride for my dad, so when I have trouble rolling over and getting up, I just try to think of the stuff he has to go through, and that's a real good way to kind of get motivated. Um, and the Pan Mass is one of my favorite weekends of the whole, actually I think it's one of everybody's favorite weekends of the whole year because you get out all that frustration pounding the pedals on the bike, but then you get the, all, all the highs of seeing the kids and the signs and the rest stops, doing things like this, you know, talking about our team. Bikes Fight Cancer enjoyed continuing their fundraising efforts, selling their t-shirts ahead of the big race day. The opening celebration, they say, is like a pre-party filled with inspirational messages. We have a handmade quote from John's mom that's actually made uh, to celebrate the Pan Mass. It has actually just chain links and such. It has our team logo uh, just on the bottom part. Mike is our graphic designer that does all the designs for our shirts and this as well. So we're doing all kinds of different, sorry, we're trying to sell a t-shirt at the same time. But um, this is something that people register to win. At the end of today, we'll actually pick a winner to take the quilt home. One of the amazing things is there's 5,000 people here you know, you maybe know a handful of them, but you're all connected with this one goal. And it's really rare these days to find, to find something like that where you don't need to talk, you don't need to tell your stories. You want to and you do. But even without that, you just know that everyone around you is, is working for the same cause and it's, it's close to everyone's heart and everyone has so many stories that it's just this, it's just this bond between everyone that's really hard to find. Although he stands healthy today, John had quite the battle with cancer right in the middle of his college years. I was watching TV one day and uh, I uh, felt a lump in my neck and so I went to the doctors and I was found that I had neuroblastoma which is a rare children's cancer and it was a found in adult and so I had uh, six months of chemotherapy and I had uh, two months of radiation and two nine-hour surgeries. The experience led him to want to give back, and with being an athlete, biking was a perfect way to do so and has pretty much become his life. I do every day. I'm a bike mechanic, and uh, so it allows me to be around bikes, and which I really love, and, you know, it's cool. My, all my family comes. Uh, we meet in Provincetown. We have a big barbecue at the end. Uh, I think this year where there's going to be, like, almost 40 people. So a lot of family and friends. and. By 5.30 tomorrow morning, John and crew, along with the other thousands of riders, will be making their way through this starting line all the way to the Cape. Another local man riding for Team Brielle's Brigade took the challenge further with a big warm-up. Yeah, myself and uh, 28 other riders, we started at uh, Hillsdale, New York, and uh, we rode, uh, it was just, uh, just under 95 miles to check in for the PMC. We call it uh, Day Zero of the PMC. It helps with fundraising. We're able to raise more money for Dana-Farber that way, so we've been doing it for a couple of years now. A ride well worth it year after year. It's really an emotional roller coaster because there are moments where you remember and you think about the, the negative aspects and the reasons, you know, the people that inspire you to come. And then there's the, the beautiful, incredible release of finishing day one and an even bigger deal, finishing day two. Um, so it really is, it's, it's, it's 
It's a very emotional day for everybody. I'm Darcy Fortune, Impact TV.